But first, you know him from his show on the Strip, and now it's time for us to share him with the rest of the world. That's right, Jeff Savilico has a brand new television show premiering this week, and it's up to us to help make him a huge success. That's a lot right. of pressure. Oh, no pressure, no pressure. No, the, the tough, <laughs> tough, 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 tough stuff's done. You got the show done already. Now it airs. Jeff Savilico, friend of the show, a hey. co-host. Thank you so much for having me. This is you guys are crazy today. We, this is nuts. Thank this is you for business. being with us and wanting to help us out because we asked you on the spur of the moment to fill time for us. That's right. Yes, I know. And, and apparently it was a, a prank. Yes, well, no, burn. We're, we're going to get some socks and some old like mic batteries and we're going to go <laughs> knock them out. Uh, so let, let's talk about this because you've been glowing off stage. You know, you've got a glowing a little bit. You haven't been able to tell us. You've been bursting at the seams. Oh, yeah. And now you're finally able to release finally this talk about world. it. Yes. Yeah, the show is called Vegas Strip Search. Uh, it's just a pilot for now. It's a one-off episode, uh, but we're really hoping that it generates enough ratings and enough buzz to go to a full series. Uh, so. What's the concept? The concept is... Uh, I started off as a street performer, mm -hmm. and now I, I'm in Vegas. So uh, I'm going to be combing the country uh, looking for the best talent in the nooks and crannies all over North America uh, and give them a shot to come to Vegas. That's cool. So, yeah, I started off as a street performer. Uh, a lot of people don't realize. Uh, I was 15 years old. I couldn't even drive uh, in Philadelphia. My brother, John, used to drive me down to Baltimore. Uh, he was 18 at the time, and he was my chauffeur, my roadie, my sound guy, Well, he was excited to be driving, yeah. Were you juggling then? <laughs> yeah. Or what yeah. Yeah, I doing? was doing little juggling shows at the Inner Harbor uh, at Baltimore, right nice. by Camden New Yards there. Yeah. Uh, and yes, yeah, so we used to drive down in the summer, uh, an hour and a half. I used to street perform all day, and we used to drive back to Philly, counting all the ones. You know, like this 15-year-old, this 18-year-old, be like, nah. It was, you know, 47 dollars or something. But uh, we split it 50-50, uh, and we did that for the whole summer. That was my first real gig. That's awesome. Uh, was street performing. Now, so. did the producers of the show come to you, or you went to them, or how did it actually start up? So, you know, it's one of those things where you're a performer, you never know who's in your audience, right? I actually picked uh, for the unicycle bit that I do in my show, oh, which I know you've seen. both seen, yeah. Uh, I picked uh, a senior producer at uh, a production company in New York who happens to do Jackpot. a lot of programming. <laughs> right, for and Travel Town. no idea. <laughs> no idea. Uh, I got an email a few days later and said, hey, you know, uh, you probably don't remember this, but uh, I, had, <laughs> I had to face my crotch. Uh, <laughs> you know, but it was a great time. I really enjoyed it. And uh, I poked around a little bit. <laughs> horribly wrong. Uh, I poked around. I was surprised to see you hadn't done any TV stuff, really. Uh, so I said, you know, we, we always have some concepts. If you ever want to talk, you know, I'm in New York. Uh, and this, this is where the proactive performer, I said, you know what? I just so happen to, I'm going to be in New York uh, so this Monday on my day off. Are you actually going to be? Absolutely not. Yeah, there we go. That's <laughs> what I did here. That's right. I, I read, did you really? <laughs> yes, I read I from Vegas to, to New York, uh, literally went to Times Square, met him at the Starbucks, chatted for 25 minutes or so before he went into his office for work in the morning. Went right back to JFK, flew back to Vegas. Wow. He's like, what are you in town for? I was like, yeah, meeting, some TV meetings. But that's not, let's talk about you and, and your situation, you know. So, uh, but now we, uh, we joke about it, you know, because it's, it's pretty funny. That's awesome. Um, but they love the concept. And, uh, and you know, we, we actually originally created a pitch tape uh, about street performers. Yeah. And then Travel said, we like this idea, but, you know, let's actually open it up. Let's broaden it. Let's, let's make it anybody with talent. So okay. now it's kind of America's Got Talent on the Road um, kind of meets Dirty Jobs. Jobs is what we're, we're saying because I actually learn the skill uh, of the performer. Oh, they they cool. attempt oh, cool. to teach me. And, and then yeah. will you have these people join you on stage in your own show eventually? So one of them wins. Yeah. So I go and see a few. I, go, I see four uh, in the pilot. I see a, a fire eater, a whip cracker, um, an extreme pogo sticker. Oh, he actually wow. pogos over my car. Fancy. Um, Backflips over my car. I think I've seen that stick. person. Yeah, mm -hmm. he has Guinness Book of World yes. Records. For, mm -hmm. Who would have thought? Who we have thought a little it? clip of yes, you trailer. in action. Oh, Let's take there a look. You go. Yeah, let's check it out. Million dollar trailer. I'm Jeff Sevillico. <laughs> I've got my own show with a brand new quad resort and casino in Las Vegas. Yes! One, two, three, four! And I'm always looking for my next amazing opening act. I need fun, fresh, new talent, people with weird and crazy skills. I will go anywhere and talk to anyone to find them. Each week, I'll offer one lucky artist the chance of a lifetime, performing live on stage on the world-famous Las Vegas Strip. Oh, that looks like a blast. This is going to be awesome. So when does it air? It's fun. Uh, it airs Saturday, this Saturday, on the Travel Channel, 3 o'clock. Okay. Uh, it's a delayed feed, so it's, it's 3 o'clock Eastern and Pacific. Okay. Now, you've shot only one series, one, one season, one show. right? Yeah, so one if it full. becomes 
popular, yep. that's when it could take off and you can get re-signed for a couple more seasons. Yeah, well, it's just one episode, one episode. right now. Yes. Oh, one yeah. episode. This is the pilot okay. episode. The first step is to go to the, the series. Yeah. So what do we have one to episode. do? Uh, I would love everybody, of course, watch uh, if they can. Uh, if they can't, DVR it and watch it within 24 hours. Uh, it only counts as a view. Can you believe that? If See, you watch within 24 hours. I'm going to actually, I'm going to go one step further. So there's Nielsen boxes out there. <laughs> yes. That's yes, the way that yes. if you have a Nielsen box, I know this is tampering, <laughs> yeah. you watch. And if, you know, if you don't, yeah. they can't tell that you're watching. Then you definitely DVR it because they can definitely tell if you DVR. Yeah. And watch right afterwards. Right. So DVR the show. It's Saturday at 3 p.m. Yep. Travel Channel. Yeah, and not just the ratings, but the buzz uh, yes. really helps. Mm -hmm. Go on so, Twitter, uh, Facebook. Okay. Tweet Travel Channel, uh, you know, uh, right on their Facebook wall. Yo, this is great. We want to see more. We uh, will be doing that, don't Jeff. Don't pretend you don't know us once you speak. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you so Long much. Thank you. Congratulations. For Thank you so much, man.